seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? Yeah, I'm a little out of hand right here, but I'm getting myself in order. This is Ricky J. Baby from Ricky J. Sports. I am using Uriah Faber. The opponent online is using Demetrius Johnson, and we are in a title fight. Not any other title fight. It's Division 6 action. I've been camping out in Division 6 since the beginning of summer, and it doesn't look like we're getting out of it. No, I'm just kidding. We are knocking on the door to Division 7. And if I could just play this as a full-time job, I will be, to be honest, I would be in Division 7, maybe even 8. But life gets in the way, and we are in Division 6. But that's okay. It's respectable division, and we are looking to win the title yet again. And I'm Uriah Faber. And just like in my last video, it's all about using quick strikes, man. Don't worry about the crazy haymakers. Just worry about connecting. And when it's a title fight, it's so funny. I don't like to, and I never like to anyway. I never like to get into a war. But I like to see my opponent kind of use all of his stamina in the first round and then attack later on. Remember, it is a marathon, not a sprint. And right now, I'm just trying to gauge this guy's timing and see his patterns, man. And he's mixing it up pretty good. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to disguise kicks down low and then go up top, man. Like that. Because he saw me going down low a couple times. Oh! See, I am not the greatest in the clinch. I've gotten better, as I said before. But I always worry. Nice block. Get out. Here we go. There. Nice little denial action. And remember, the little knee to the inner knee, you know, the MCL, ACL, whatever you want to call it, that negates transitions. And we already got him on the ground. But what I'm noticing right now is my stamina management on the ground is not the greatest. Yes. And right away, a couple answers... Oh no, I was going to say, a couple of answers, questions have been answered that my ground game is better than his, but the fact that he got up shows me something. Oh, see, I wish that kick would be negated. I hit him twice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, see, when you connect with that jab, things are canceled out. Uh oh, yes. I'm backpedaling here, folks. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. I love the, like I said in the last video, the jab cross and then uppercut. Yes. Yoga fire. And this guy's stamina management isn't the best already in the first round, I'm noticing. You know, those. the one thing I love about Uriah Faber is that he doesn't have any crazy strikes. So you know you're not going to drain out your stamina when you're using Uriah. you got to use him. If you haven't been using Uriah Faber in the bantamweight division, you got to use him. Man. Oh! Look at that. That uppercut made him stand up. Because eh? <laughs> he was going down. He was going down for that takedown. Now... <clears throat> In previous fights that I've been um, having, I've been losing the first round. And and then I've been battling myself back, kind of changing my strategy and understanding what my opponent's doing. But in this first round, I feel like I've had this fight. I've ha I have it kind of at my reach. So we got to continue doing what I've been doing and not look for anything crazy. However... If this opponent is a dynamic type of opponent, he may be going for a clinch or a takedown. We already know he likes the clinch. Oh, see how he's going for those crazy uppercuts and missing, and then I'm connecting with the little jab cross, baby. And that's what's taking his stamina down. And he's trying to go for the belly tickling. Oh, I don't know what he was doing there. It looked like he was going for a flying knee or for the clinch, man. Oh, you know what's funny? I saw that coming, but the animation to throw a punch was already happening. 
Nice. See, Uriah's overhand's not the greatest, but when it connects, it does damage, baby. Yes. Good job of oh, and he's reaching right now. Johnson with the hook to the body from the clinch. See, he that's crazy because two times in a row he couldn't stop my takedown. That double like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, get out of this. Nice, gets out of it. Let's see what we could do right here. Deny, baby. Side control action. I'm trying to deny, deny. Oh. Man, I thought I had that. There we go. And now he's back in full guard. Nice. In half guard. Mount. Deny. Oh. He hip escapes from the full mount. There we go. Back to mount again. There we go. Throw some punches. There we go. These do damage, baby. Oh, could it be over? Oh, his head is jet red. Get back and mount. Now the only problem is, uh oh. The only problem is I don't have a lot of stamina. There we go. Back and mount. Got to deny and get up. There we go. Oh no! How did that happen? Half guard. See, I'm not too worried. And look at that reversal action. I love that animation. Now I just need to strike to his head. Here we go. This is my patented finishing area. Come on, baby. What you got? Let's end this fight. Let's end this fight. Oh. We got to continue making him work. Oh, how did he get out of that? Unreal. There we go. Now it's my turn. I have to deny his transitions here. He's not moving. Oh, there we go. <sighs> feel like I just can't get it done, man. But that's okay. To be positive, we're making him work. We're denying his transitions, and his ground game is not that great, man. It's good, but it's not that great. And I feel like it's two rounds to nothing for us, man. Two rounds to nothing, and I got to continue doing what I'm doing. But the crazy thing, too, I was always thinking about is like in a fight, you could be winning by a lot, you get too cocky and you lose. You could be losing by a lot, and you get too cocky and you win. So it ain't over until the big daddy referee pulls you off the guy or wakes you up. <laughs> so here we go, round three. Yes. Let's go, boy. Yes. Finally, his spinning kick gets denied. Oh, oh, down he goes. One, two, it's over. It's got to be over. Oh, man, he survived there. He survived. Oh. Wow. Continue to deny. Oh, it's just a matter of time, baby. Just a matter of time. Deny. I can't deny in that position. Here we go. Oh, man. His hands are heavy. What should I do? Suplex time? He's on his part. And he can't stop. He, you know what? He can't stop my takedowns in the clinch. That's something to remember. Never forget that, people. Never forget that. If you get that takedown in the clinch, go to it if you need it. Some people don't know how to deny it. And there we go. There we go. Pour it on him. Pour it on him. Oh. He's belly tickling, but his stamina is not the greatest. His head is red. Oh, now see, I got to be careful. You don't want to open up too much. You don't want to open up too much and then get yourself rocked or knocked out. Oh, that's my new that's my new combo. Down low twice and then uppercut. He doesn't know because by the time oh by the time he thinks you are going down low for another shot, you're going up high. Oh, 
Nice. Uh oh. Johnson with the straight to the body. <laughs> this guy just won't go away though. He won't go away. Oh. Oh, he's going for that home run hit. He's going for it. And another. Oh, good on him, man. Let's see what I could do here. Uh oh. See, now he's got the momentum. Got to back away. Got to back away. Yes. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, nice parry. <laughs> there we go. Or slip there. Gotta be careful. Don't want to engage in a war. Not. Oh, man. <laughs> Mighty Mouse can take a punch. Oh, he's belly tickling time. 10 seconds. Nice. He's hurt. Oh, and that's the end of the round. He really, you know, his favorite show growing up was Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Zach Screech. Oh, man. What a fight. I feel like I'm in control. But again, he's using a guy that's in the high 90s, man. He's using Demetrius Johnson. Oh, man, that hurt him. That legitimately hurt him. And his, I just have to go with volume, man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's go. He's doing what I'm doing. Low, low, high. Oh, that hurt him. Come on. Oh, that hurt him right there. Get him. Get him, Uriah. Get him, Uriah. Oh, and see, I'm just, just touching him. Just touching him. Oh, man, he can't take two more. That his head is red. Come on, for the people on YouTube. For the, do it for the people on YouTube. Oh, oh, he jumped right into that push. Nice. That is tells you something right there. Uriah knows what's going on. Oh, yes, and he misses. He doesn't have a lot of stamina. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. Oh. Nice. He's hurt again. He is hurt again. And he's still going for that kick. There we go. My, that, that high kick is landing. Yes. What a battle. This guy does not go away. He just doesn't. Oh. Got to regain my stamina. Just touch him. Just touch him. <laughs> He's still pushing forward. He should clear his head, man. Clear your head. Oh. And those jabs do damage, man. They color that head red. Keep on moving my feet. Uh oh, this is not, this is not good right here. Remember, his takedown defense is not good. Especially in the clinch. Deny. Yeah, get him thinking. You got to get people thinking when they clinch up with you. You got to show that you're able to deny and they all stop. And look at that. Just as I said, this guy does not know how to deny sprawl when it comes to takedowns in the clinch. And let's get to work. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, looking for his back. Oh, I just don't have the stamina to throw anything with some conviction. I should go oh, for the choke. Oh, could it be, baby? Not a lot of time left, but you definitely get points here. Oh, man. In my opinion, we are shutting this guy out right now. I'm feeling good, feeling great. But we got to get that finish, but we can't open up too much. That's the problem. You, you, when you're winning a, a championship fight, never be overconfident. Always understand that 
you have to continue following your game plan, man. It's just like a real fight. You don't want to open up too much. Ariane gets us set for the fifth and final round. Let's continue doing what we are doing, man. Here we go. Remain in this title fight. The top contender Here we go. You know he is wearing the damage and feeling the damage. Well, oh yes. Those crosses hurt him. He had to go low as well. Oh yes, I can't believe that got through. Yeah, mix things up, mix things up. Oh, he's feeling those jabs. Nice. He's backing away. He just does out doesn't have any juice in the fridge. Powerful jab. Oh man, gotta be careful. Oh, that hurt me there. Great job. Oh baby! Some laser beam action! Oh my gosh! What an awkward position right there. Oh, what a punch right there. I've never seen a finish like that where he had his knee on his back like that. Unbelievable. Wow. One of the most bizarre finishes I've seen. Just just sheer positioning was just a little off, eh? It was a little weird. And he went down and he kind of kind of curled but was a little stretched out. And Uriah just put a knee to his lower back and just started throwing punches. Unbelievable finish. Oh, that felt good. But that just goes to show you that it's it's all about volume and connections, man. Connect with your punches and your opponent will fold eventually. Wow. So that is a another title to put over the old fireplace. <laughs> it was so much fun. Uriah living the dream finally. You are a UFC champion. Thank you so much, people, for stopping by and for watching this fight. We were in control the whole way, not like most of my fights where it's a roller coaster ride. Anyhow, people, thank you so much for stopping by. You guys are the best. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports, and you are awesome.